This just in, we're ready to reveal our top new Revas of the week. Hi, Brandon. Hey. Hi, Justin. Hello. Hi, Watch Friends. We're happy you guys are back for another episode of Watch of the Box. Happy to be here. I know, nice to see you guys. We have definitely found some top new arrivals of the week. I'm excited to see what you guys chose. Actually, more than anything, I'm excited to show you what I chose today. It's an interesting box I already. Know, You've I know, I know. I know, it caught my eye, nonetheless. <laughs> um, so before we do this, would you guys like to do a wrist check? Yes. Yep. All right, what are you wearing, Brandon? I've got on this vintage 1016 uh, Explorer with a really nice loom, uh, nice patina on there, nice. matte dial. Big fan of these. Classic. I'm a sucker Hard to go for 10 wrong. 16s. <laughs> yeah. Can't yeah. go wrong. Yeah. Beautiful. What about you? I am wearing a white gold sub. Wow. Um, yeah, it's got the blue Cookie Monster kind of mm -hmm. nicknamed. What I'm um, it. Yeah. Heavy great, hitter great today. Watch. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you guys want to see what I'm bringing? Yeah. Something a little bit more small. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice little all gold Panthera. Oh, I love it. Yep. Teeny tiny, but I it's love cute. it. I know. I agree. It's got some heft. I agree. It feels great on the wrist. Um, anyway, that's just what we're wearing. We're always curious, what do you guys have on while you're watching this new episode of Watch in the Box? Please sound off in the comments. We really enjoy hearing you guys kind of check in and tell us not only what you're wearing, but what you liked as well. So, Watch in the Box. Yes. Every week we pick our top three new arrivals. You get to bring the top modern men's watch, you get to bring the top vintage watch, and yep. I get to bring the top watch for women. Um, even if it's not designated a women's watch for the record. So, I want to see, what did you bring? I have something very nice. Yeah, ready for it? Okay. Let's see, Justin. One of my favorites, Daytona. Oh. Um, not just any Daytona. No. There's a lot of good Daytonas out there. This one is a little bit different, a little special. Solid white gold, um, and then it has that blue dial. And the blue dial with the red accents. It's just so different and sporty. Uh, it also comes in a red and black dial version, which I love as well. Something about the blue. It's like just blue and watches. It's, it's such a thing yeah. that um, for me, it's a great blend of that elevated sportiness, mm -hmm. elevated luxury, like the luxury sporty combination. Yeah. Um, I think this watch does it uh, as good as any. I, I like this a lot. I, I feel kind of the same about proper blue watches as I do with proper green watches. Mm. Or I yeah. guess maybe the proper version of blue on watches and the proper green on watches. This is proper. Perfect pick. Would yeah. you wear it? I would wear it for sure. Put it next. Let's put it next to. Uh, okay, so yeah. Next to that. The let's blues are not the color. same for the record. The blues oh, no. are. Which, is, which, which kind of like leans into my point about the proper blue is yeah, just cool such thing. a home run. When so it's these cool. are next to each other, very though. similar. Uh, yeah. Both white gold, mm -hmm. both blue, both sport watches, Rolex. Um, so yeah, just different ways of doing it. This one is a, this is more a little like blueberry kind of in your face. This a one's poppier. exactly a little poppier. This one's a little more subtle, um, but I like that. I like that understatedness of it. Um, I think, uh, you know, there's that uh, quiet power kind of thing. Yeah, that's so good. Uh, anyway, I like it. Two, two great watches. I, uh, uh, yeah. God, I don't know if I had to pick. Luckily, I, I don't have to, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's easy to two see fantastic you watches. Um, I would, I'm not going to pick. I'm not going to pick. <laughs> But if you guys at home had to pick which one, if are you, you guys picking? had to pick, we that's a very good yes. yes. If you had to pick the white gold Submariner with the blue bezel or the white gold Daytona with the blue dial, 100%. What are you picking? I'm going Daytona. Yeah, I'd go Daytona. I think too. I'm going Daytona too. Yep. I, on this one, I love a Daytona. Yeah for, yeah. for other for other comparisons, it might not be yeah. it might not be that breakdown, but yeah. I'm going Daytona. Um, All right. Well, great awesome. choice. Yeah. yeah. Great to see why you chose this one. Yeah. yeah I'm excited to see what you guys have, Emily. All right, I cannot wait to show you guys this. So you can see I have a gorgeous box. This is a Rolex Cellini today, but not just any Cellini. This is an Orchid. So this is a reference 6221. This beautiful thing just so happens to be 18 karat white gold. Wow. So it's, wow. look at it. I know I should pause for a moment before yes. I get into some of the other details. Yes, this thing is absolutely encased in diamonds. Um, so this beautiful thing, again, is 18 karat white gold. It has a gorgeous rose uh, mother of pearl dial. Can you kind of see that? Yeah. Really, really like this. This beautiful thing is circa 2000, three hour <laughs> markers plus the gorgeous crown at the top. So I know you guys are looking at this bezel. This thing has 142 diamonds on this bezel. Can you see it catching that light? Yeah. Unbelievable, but it does not stop there. I'm not kidding. This bracelet also has diamonds all over. This two is 18 karat white gold and it has a stunning crown clasp as well. That's hidden. Nice. It is so cozy on the wrist, but man, is it making a statement. Mm -hmm. I had to bring this watch here. Maybe not 100% my style, but something that, ooh, would I love to it's wear. It's amazing. Right? It's amazing. Let me see. Would you <laughs> like to, to hold it? Yes, okay, I would. <laughs> Wow, gorgeous watch, yep. and it's unique. 
I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. One of the things I love about Rolex is I always see something new. You know, they have their standards. They've seen a billion Submariners, yet things constantly come in and I have never seen one yeah. before. Yeah, never seen and one this is either. one of them. It's just gorgeous. The amount of diamonds that are in it. I love that back I with know. the diamonds and just the crown kind of mm -hmm. framed there in the center. I mean, it's just, it, it goes to show the attention of detail yes. of just diamonds everywhere, nothing overlooked, the, nothing underdone. The craftsmanship is one thing, but also just the wearability for the person that does decide to kind of make this theirs. I mean, it is absolutely so comfortable on the wrist too. Yeah, that bracelet style like hugs your wrist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, really nice. Gorgeous watch. If you're looking for something elegant, yes. I don't think you could do better. Yep. Elegant, yeah. unique to yeah. the lady that eventually gets this piece. I'm envious of you, so yeah. enjoy, how fun. All right, well, this just so happens to be my ladies' pick for the week. Brandon, nice choice. what did you find? So we've got a vintage Speedmaster. Oh. This is a reference 145-012-67. So it's circa 1968. It features the 321 movement, the dot over 90 bezel, and the stepped dial. This is one of the last variations with the 321 movement, so I like that, that's pretty cool. And when you look closely, the seconds hand has the uh, teardrop counterweight. Mm -hmm. So it's also the last variation of that. After this, they were straight at the bottom. This does not have any mention of the moon landing on the back because it's pre-moon landing, mm -hmm. so that's cool. I do like how clean these case backs are. Yeah. Um, overall, this one really has aged really beautifully. The loom is that really buttery yellow. It's very consistent. The case is really nice and sharp. Super well cared for watch. It's got the original crown, which I really love. It's got the flat feet and the 24 teeth. And also it's got the applied Omega logo, which I really like. Yeah, overall just looks great. Yeah, take awesome a look. Speed, yeah. yeah, this is great. I love seeing um, a vintage Speedmaster. We see so many Rolexes, and I mean, there's there's a ton of awesome vintage Rolexes um, that I think Speedmasters, you know, while there's definitely collectors in out there, I think sometimes we can kind of overlook them a little bit. So I really appreciate, um, you know, seeing some love with the vintage Speedmaster. And this one is amazing. I love the condition. I love the patina on it. It has just turned such really a beautiful nice. color. Um, and again, I love, I like these on straps. So yeah. the color of the strap going with the it patina, it's Paris. just, they just kind of set each other off. Yeah. The bezels age really nicely too. So it's just a really well-preserved example. And this is a reference that has been worn on multiple space missions. So that's pretty neat too. Yeah. Really nice. Iconic watch. Great example. I love this one. Yeah. And you know, a lot of Speedmasters, they all kind of look the same from far away from the modern to the vintage but for the vintage ones like this when the loom ages it really can like set it apart where it's like from a glance you know it's not a brand new one this right is clearly vintage. yeah so so true well guys <laughs> you hit it out of the park another These were good. wonderful round of three washes yeah. um, they are all available online at bobswatches.com um, every single day we are adding new watches so if you head over to that new arrivals page you guys can see the entirety of what we had to go through to find these watches to present to you this week. So we will be back next week with another episode of our three favorite watches. Until then, everyone, be well.